Here it is, you guys. Okay guys, we're back in the garage. A um, couple little updates. Huge thanks to Archie. He uh, drilled out the flywheel. So now these bolts go through. So super thanks Archie. Archie is a good guy. Um, can't wait for him to open his shop back up. Uh, somebody I used to go to years ago when he had his own shop. And uh, he's about to get back in the business guys. So. Remember the good old PSI days? They'll be back soon. Now, moving on. Um, that got drilled out. This is also a, a new camera. So from this clip forward, it's gonna be the Hero 7 GoPro. Uh, I went ahead and upgraded my camera. Shouldn't be too much different from the Hero 5, but yeah, that's, that's that. So now we get to go back onto installing this flywheel. I went ahead, I tried to clean out the flywheel holes as best as I can of any uh, dried up Loctite in them. So, clean those guys out. Now it's time to start lining this all up and getting everything installed and getting this out of the driveway. I need the driveway back because I need to fix the Galant soon. And for those that watch all my videos, the Sentra is uh, possibly gonna going to be bought today and today is May 3rd uh, somebody's coming to look at the shell and looking at uh, buying it and then I got to get this stuff out of the way and get that car ready for him so but you guys will see that in later videos and if you guys watch full videos you guys would see a mini sneak peek so let's go ahead and get back to installing this uh, flywheel and the act clutch Remember, this is a competition uh, flywheel, and the GTIR flywheels have bigger bolts or bigger flywheel holes, um, if that's what you want to call it. So, on the standard SR20 or DET, um, those these flywheel bolts on a stock GTIR will not go through. So, it seems like these are completely different flywheel bolts. So, keep that in mind. For you SR20 guys that are watching this video, uh, the GTIR, GTIR motor has different flywheel bolts, it seems. Uh, they seem to be a bit beefier. Uh, and if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. But that is why these bolts did not originally um, fit. So let's go ahead and get this sucker up there. All right, guys, don't forget your Loctite. Put your Loctite midway on the bolt, not towards the tip. That's something that I recently learned from Archie. Okay, they're on there now, and I'm just gonna try to make them a little bit more snug. And then, I'm gonna try to hit it. Now I'm gonna get my uh, torque wrench. Probably go to 60 pounds, and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna hold it 60 pounds, and then go back to it and do 90 pounds.
super paranoid of these ever backed out. Uh, I actually did 100 foot pounds. Um, it's got red Loctite. Now I'm going to hit it with the impact real quick. And uh, they should be on as tight as they can go. There it is, guys. That's how you install the flywheel. Now remember, I used this tool and I wedged it right under right under the radiator support since I don't have an extra body helping me holding this. So that's how I did that. But yeah, that's that. Now let's go ahead and move on to the pressure plate. I never ever replace the pilot bushings. I let them roll. Um, I never see anything ever wrong with them. So I'm leaving that one alone. But I just realized this is for SR20. So this is loose in here. So that'll be my next challenge. Yep, I'm going to see how I can fix that. Alright, well, I'm going to try to line this up as best as I can. And as straight as I can. And no, it's not the new pilot brushing. It's just that this is a GTIR motor. So, I tried the other, G the other bushing on here and it's also loose. The pilot bushing I'm talking about. Let me see how this face is. Remember the dowel pins? Even the dowel pins on this flywheel are super tiny. Guess that would work. Actually, that's it. The smaller ones here. Those are the, the holes for the dowel pen. And that is tight. Now, let's try to line this all up. Those dowel pins are not completely pushed down, so I need to really make sure that this is straight. And I feel like that's straight right there. All right, I'm pretty confident it is where it needs to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten these bolts down just to kind of cinch this uh, pressure plate down. Remember this is a pressure plate, that's the clutch that's lined up with the alignment tool. Now I want to put blue Loctite on these, but I'm going to hold off. I want to cinch it down and then uh, pull it back out and see how everything goes together. Remember, go in like a star pattern.
first I'll get them a little bit snug and then I'll go back through the star pattern. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable where the pressure plate's at. I'm gonna go ahead and back these bolts back out. Uh, I was looking up the specs for the, for the, freaking I can't think. For the flywheel bolts, for red right, it 70 pounds, which is really weird like a very low spec to me so I did probably over tighten them but it's not gonna be the end of the world it is gonna be fine so any of you worry warts out there trust me guys it's gonna be good these guys seems to be between 18 to 22 foot pounds and I plan on using blue Loctite on these guys so that's why I'm backing them back out just making sure everything was gonna fit just fine and it seems like it is. So, just backing these guys out. And then I will go back and uh, tighten them with some blue Loctite. All right, got blue Loctite in the bolts, except for the one that I gotta re-loosen back out. Tighten these guys down before it dries up. So I'm just gonna hand tighten them for now and then go back and tighten them up. 22 foot pounds, really, guys. It's uh, my opinion, you could do it by hand. You don't really need a target, but if you're super crazy about it, then you do you. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. For myself, hand tight on these bolts is probably more than enough. So gonna get to tighten these guys up and see what's next might be it for this video this is your clutch flywheel pressure plate how to install it so I'm gonna go ahead and go around tighten these two and then loosen this guy back out and put some blue lock tight on it Alright you guys, there it is. That's how you install your flywheel, clutch, and pressure plate. Um, I did hand tighten these pretty good. Uh, I'm not too concerned about these bolts coming out. It does have blue Loctite on them. And it's pretty much hand tight. And uh, I have in the past broken these bolts. And I do not want to go down that route again. So we're going to call this good. Um, clutch and flywheel and pressure plate are installed that's how you install it it is very very easy so next video will be how to make your p11 uh, 70 V transmission hydro to cable uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in the next video there is a way to do it and if I did read correctly and I looked into it correctly and uh, stared at the two transmissions uh, it's pretty simple to do so like subscribe share let me know what you guys think let me know what I could have done better get the tools do it yourself save money in your pocket and I appreciate the support guys thank you